okay so welcome back to this channel so in this video we will see that how we can basically create our api in nest.js so if you don't know nest.js and our js framework that help us to uh, build scalable and fast apis okay so in this video we will see that how we can create uh, api from scratch we will add all the uh, routes get route post route delete and put route and then moving on next we will add the uh, error handling authentication unit testing e to e testing everything in this video series but in this video we will discuss that how we can create a simple rest api in nest.js okay so this is the official update of nest.js i simply go to the documentation so here you can see that this is an introduction you can read that and here we have to install uh, nest.js cli globally so that we can create our nest project with the uh, nest okay so simply copy it from here nest install dash g which will install nest.js globally which is the cli i will go back to my vs code create a new terminal here and you can see that i am in my library nest api folder okay so i will simply paste it here and install the uh, nest cli globally so i get here some permission errors so i add here sudo so i type here my password and this is for mac only okay so now nest.js is installed globally here now we have to create a new nest project and to create a new nest project we will use the nest that we have installed globally if i go back you can see that we just have to type here nest then the new then the project name so I simply go back and type here nest new then i am in my library nest api folder so i type here dot and dot will give this current directory name to this project you can also type here name manually if you want i press here enter now it will create a new nest project i type here uh, npm and now it will install all the required packages okay so the project is created successful here you can see that if i clear my terminal and let me explain the pro uh, project structure first of all and uh, the folder structure of nest.js so first of all we have a bunch of conversion files for uh, typescript we know that in nest.js we use typescript most of the time then we have here package.json that contains all the uh, scripts that we can run here for the test for the development and for the production and for the build and we will discuss that later then we have our dependencies dev dependencies and all that stuff that we have in our package or json file and next we have here our main folder which is the source folder but also we have here a test folder in which we usually write our e to e test and we will discuss about e to e test later in this video series okay so our main working folder here is the source so in the source we have all our project files in this case, we only have a few files. First of all, the main.ts, which is the entry point of this uh, application. So in this file, we have a function called bootstrap in which we will simply use nest factory that will use this create function will pass the app module, which is the root module present right here. And it will listen on port 3000 and we will call that function. And in, in this way, the project will start. So this is the entry point of nest.js. And moving on next, we have here a controller file, a module file and a service file. And this is a testing file so i will delete it uh, now because we will discuss about testing in our future videos okay so first of all here we have our app.controller.ts so in this file we will handle all our incoming requests and also we will send back the response to the user uh, from this file okay so in this file you can say that we will handle all our routes like get post and other and then we have our app.module.ts so nest uses the modules to structure the project for example this is the app module so in one module we have three files one is the module file with one is the controller file and one is the service file so the the main file which is the module file contains uh, you can say that the configurations of that module like we can import here uh, different modules and then we can define here our controllers providers so in this way this is our a main uh, file which is the app.module.ts which is the main module file and then we have the app.service.ts now in this file we write our logic we get the data from the database we save data in the database and we will handle all the logic in our service file now in this project we have two modules one is the uh, book module and one is the auth module in this video we will only discuss about the book module and we will learn about the authentication in our upcoming videos so I close all these three files. Now I have to create my own module, which is the book module. And to create a module, I simply type here nest g module and then the name of the module. In this case, the name of the module is book. So I create a new module here. You can see that a book module is created in the source here. 
that contains only one file that is mockbook.module.ts which is empty right now and also you can see that the app.module.ts is updated if i go to that file you can see that in the imports the book module is automatically added so we have to add each module in our main app.module.ts file like this okay so if you use nest it will automatically do that for you and now we have created our module now we have to create the controller and also the service file for this book module and to create that i simply type here nest g uh, controller and then the name of the module which is the book so you can see that we have here our two files one is book.controller.ts and one is the book.controller.spec.ts which is the testing file and again we will discuss about unit testing and e to e testing in our upcoming videos so i delete this file in this video and we will create this file again in our upcoming videos and now we have to create our service file and for that i use here nest g service name of the module which is the book now i don't want to create the testing file so i type here dash dash no dash spec now it will not create the testing file and you can see that the service file is also created right here so now we have successfully created our book module we have created our controller file service file and now we have to first of all connect to our database uh, before writing our code so for that i close this file in the root i create a new file that is dot env file in that i have to uh, write my database connection string You can also provide here the online atlas url but i will use local database i close this env file now we have to install some modules first of all i type here npm i mongoose which is the plugin for mongodb then we have to install here at nest.js slash mongoose then we have to install here at nest.js slash config dash dash save so all packages are installed successfully now let's connect to our database now first of all we have to add this uh, env file in our project so i simply go to the app.module.ts which is the main file and here i have to first of all configure my env file and for that i will have to write the code in this imports array so first of all i have to type here config module that i have installed from nest.js slash config then i use here dot for root now in that i have to pass multiple options First of all, the name of the file or the path of the file, I type here env file path and that is present in the root that is .env. Then I add one more option here that is the is global so that I can use the environment variables globally. Okay, so in this way you can add the config file in your nest.js project. And now we have added the env file, now we want to connect to our database. So again, we are using the MongoDB in this video. If you want me to make another video, uh, with other databases like Postgres, I will also do that if you want. So now let's type here mongoose module and I have to import the mongoose module from the nest.js slash mongoose dot for root and then here I have to pass the URI. So now I have my URI in the uh, env file so process dot env dot db underscore URI like this. Now to run my project, I simply type here npm run start and i type here dev that will start the project in the development mode so i press here enter um let me see you can see that we have zero errors here if i change anything here like i type here i remove this b from here simply save it and now if i restart my server you can see that we will get here the error unable to connect to database so this minute hour we are successfully connecting to our database okay all right so now we are connected to our database now let's create our uh, schema for our book module so simply go to the source in the source in the book i create a new folder that is called schemas in that i create a new file that is called book dot schema dot ts now to create a schema we have to use the a schema decorator so i have to import the schema from the nest.js slash uh, mongoose now in the schema i will pass here one option that is timestamps that will i will set to true now it will automatically create the timestamps for each uh, document in the database okay now i type here export uh, class now to create a schema we have to 
uh, create a class with that name so in this case the name of the class is going to be book and we will also export that here okay now we have to type all the fields that we want in our schema first of all we need here the title and the title is going to be string and now you can um sorry you can type here one more that is add prop okay so on the prop you can pass multiple options you can type that uh, the type is going to be string required is true and other configurations for that particular field but i will leave it empty right now and after that i will simply copy it from here i will add here title then the description of that book okay and then i have here the uh, author of that book and then we have here the price now price is going to be number and then i also one more field i want to add one more field here that is category okay so now I have to give the type to this category and the type is going to be an enum and I will create an enum here so export enum that is going to be category in that I will pass all the uh, categories so I simply copy that just to save some time so these are all the categories that I have in my category enum adventure classics crime and fantasy okay so I will give this category as a type to this category like this okay and also in the I type here um, add props if you want to pass multiple options okay you can also con uh, see the documentation if you want to learn more about the prop simply save it and now I have successfully created my book schema now you also have to export that book schema so as I type here export const book schema is going to be schema factory now you have to import the schema factory from nest.js slash mongoose and I have to type here create from for class in that I have to type the class name that is the book so now it will create our book schema in this way simply save this one and now let's close this file and go to our book.service.ts and then here we have to inject our model so that we can use that and get the data from the database and for that I use here constructor and in the constructor um, I will first of all use here inject model decorate oops that is inject model from nest.js slash mongoose then in that i have to type the name of the model so the name of the model is going to be book i will import that from schema and type here dot name okay and then here i will create a private um, book model and i give here type which is the mongoose dot model and the model is going to be book okay and i type here the body of the constructor and i have to import uh, all as mongoose from the mongoose so by default the book service is a class and that is decorated with the injectable decorator and the constructor we have to uh, inject our model so i use here inject model decorator from the nest.js slash mongoose pass in the name of the model then create a private book model variable and the type is going to be this okay so now we have a uh, uh, book model now we can access all the functions like find find all of the mongoose uh, in this file so first of all let's create a function async i type here find um all okay and now in that i will simply type here const books is going to be await this dot book model dot find and I simply have to return from here the books okay that is going to be return and I will give here a type now we know that it will return a promise so I type here promise and I type here that it is going to be book array of book okay so in our service file we have successfully created our first function that is find all and we will simply uh, use this uh, find mongoose function we will call our this dot book model dot find that will get all the books from the database and then we will simply return the books from here and we have some error here that uh, is book module is a nested nest.js module okay so we have this error here and to avoid that I simply go to my book dot module dot ts and then here I will add the imports because we have to also add our model here that we are using 
so we note that imports is an array i will use here mongoose module call the dot for feature now in that i have to pass uh, the array of models so i type here array and the first model is going to be name that is going to be book okay then we have to type here the schema that is going to be book schema that we have to import from the book schema as well okay so now the error will go okay make sure to register your model in the uh, main module file uh, in this case that is book.module.ts like this okay so now if i go to my postman create a new tab let me close this it is running on port 3000 so i type here localhost port 3000 slash book if i click on send you will see that we get here cannot get slash book and i simply go back actually um and the controllers oh we also have to actually uh, create the uh, controller function for this so i go to my book.controller.ts and then here i will create my constructor now we have to inject our uh, book service here so in the constructor i will type here private uh, private book service and the type is going to be book service that we have here in the same folder okay and then we can simply create here our first route that is the get so i use here add get decorator and we have to import the get from the nest js slash common okay so i use here get decorator and type here my first function that is async get all books okay and it will return promise book array of books and then i will simply type here return this dot book service dot find all and it will call the find all and then the find all will call this part and get all the uh, books from the database and return those books and we have some error here uh, return type of public method from export class has been is using private name book and we have to import here the book as well like this simply save it and now if i go back to my postman and click on send you will see that we get here an empty array because we have nothing in the database right now and you can also change this route if you want if i go back i can also change it out from here i type here s now it will be books so if i go back to postman type here s now it will give me the empty array okay so now let's create our second route that will create the book and save that in the database so i go back in the service file and then here i type here async create and in that we have to pass the book that we want to create and type is also going to be book okay now it will return promise that is going to be book and now in this we have to first of all type here const res is equal to await this dot book model dot create and in the create we will pass the book uh, that we want to create okay I type here uh, let's type here res and I will simply return from here the res okay so now we will pass the book in this function we will get the book from the body of the request we will pass the book in the create function which is the mongoose function that will create and return back that book simply save this one now let's go back to our controller and now type here the post route we will also import the post decorator from nasdaq slash uh, common async then i type here create book and that will return promise that is going to be book and now you can also change the route if you want uh, so in this case uh, the route is going to be slash books if you want to uh, define some separate uh, route for this that is going to be slash book you can also type here like new so this is going to be slash books slash new okay so in this way you can also change the route if you want but i will keep it as it is and now we want to simply return this dot book service dot create and now in the create we know that we have to pass here the book and we will get our book from the body of the request and to get the body i type here in the create book i use here the body decorator and i also have to import the body from the nest.js slash common and from the body i will get the body of that request 
So I type here the board is going to be book and we have to also type here the book. Okay, simply save this one and now let's go back to our postman and create here a new route. I quickly do that. Now in the body, I have to type here row JSON. Let me put here a dummy data. So now if I click on send from here, you will see that we get here our book that contains the, all the details and also the ID and the timestamps created and updated at. Okay, so this minute our book is created successfully. If I go back and click on send, you will see that we get back here array of all the books. Okay, so now I simply go back to my VS Code. Now here we have simply typed the book, but we also have to uh, type here the type of that book, not what type of data we are expecting from the user. Okay, so for that we use something called DTO. Now DTO is called data transfer object. We know that user will pass some type of data in the body. So I have to also make sure that data has a correct type. And, and for that I will create a new DTO. And to create a DTO, I go in the book, create a new folder here that is called DTO. And the DTO, I create a new file that is create-book.dto.ts. And to create a DTO, I simply have to type here export. I have to create a class here with the name create book DTO. And in that I have to type all the fields that I am expecting uh, from the user. So that is going to be read only. I type here title. That is going to be string. Okay. And then I have here the description. Category. And the type is going to be the category enum that we have created in our uh, schema. So I will import that from there. Okay, so now I have created my create book DTO. So I will simply go back to my controller and I simply type here the type that is going to be create book DTO. Okay. And I have here that create book DTO is not assignable to parameter book property author is missing from create book DTO. So the create book, um, I have to also type here the author of the book. Simply so save this one and now the error will go and now we can simply create our book. Okay, so now let's uh, get our book by ID. So I simply go to my book.service.ts. I will simply copy this function from here just to save some time. And that is going to be a find by ID. And in that we have to pass here the ID of that book. So ID that is going to be string. Okay, and it will return a book. And I type here this dot book model dot find by ID and I pass in here the ID of that book. Then I will return that book from here. Okay. And I will call it book. Simply save it. Now go back to my controller and I simply copy this from here. Okay. And I have to call here find by ID and I have to pass in here the ID of that book. And I have to get the ID from the parameters of that uh, URL or the endpoint. So I simply first of all remove this array because it will return only one book and I call it uh, get book. Okay. And I have to get the parameter from the ID. So I type here at decorator at param. And I also get the param from nest.js slash common. And the param is going to be the ID. Okay. So I store it in the ID and the type is going to be string. And also we have to define a route for that. That is going to be slash books, then slash the ID of that book. So in the get, I can simply type here colon ID. So now it will be slash book slash the ID of that book. Okay. Simply save this one. And now if I go back to my postman, click on send here, we have this book. Okay. I will get it by ID. So I simply copy it from here, put here, and I have to put here the ID of that book. So I type here this ID and click on send. Now I will get the book by ID. Okay. I also have to check that if I type here wrong ID like this, um, it will throw uh, nothing here. So we have to also check that. So I go back and I go in the uh, service.ts and then here I check that if not book 
then I will simply throw new not found exception and I will import the not found exception from nash.js slash common in that I will simply pass the message that book not found simply save this one and now if I go back and click on here send you will see that we get here a proper error message 404 book not found okay and this is also 404 so now we are successfully getting our a single book by id and now let's update the book by id so i simply go back and i go in my uh, controller or sorry in the service i will simply um copy this function from here okay and i will simply type here uh update by id and i will pass in here the id of the book and i have also passed the book okay so book and I will remove this one also from here and I will remove this as well and I will simply return from here um, uh, await this dot book model dot find by ID and update in which I will pass the ID of the book and then I have to pass the book itself that I want to update so I type here book and then I pass in here uh, new to true and the uh, run validators so now I will simply save this one and I um, also have to type here comma okay simply save this one now I go back to my book controllers and I simply uh, copy this from here and I have to uh, type here put because this is a put request I want to update the book and I have to get the ID of the book from the uh, prime so I type here ID and also I copy this from here and put that here so I will get the prime from the ID and get the book uh, from the body and now uh, we have to type create one more DTO here that is update book DTO so I simply copy all from here create a new file in the DTO that is update DTO.ts so update dash D, uh, update book dot DTO dot TS and I put that here and I change it to update okay I simply save it from here and I go back and I simply type here update and I use here the update DTO so update book DTO and I pass in here dot uh, update by ID I pass in here the ID of the book and I pass here the book okay I simply save it and now if I go back to my postman and I copy it from here create a new tab that is a put request I go to row uh, JSON and I pass in here I want to update the title so I type here book 2 like this okay now if I click on send from here you see that we get here nothing um, I think so the book is present so book not found I type here one so this is the correct idea copy this from here put that here if I click on send from here you can see that the book is successfully updated here okay okay so now if I go back and now we have successfully updated our book by ID and you may have a question in mind that uh, why we have two separate details for create book and update book because both contains the same code because in upcoming videos we are going to add the validations in our DTOs so we have different validation for create book and different validation for the update book okay so in that video it will make more sense that why we have two different DTOs for the uh, book okay right now it has same code but in our upcoming videos we will add the validations different validations in both files okay so I close these files from here now let's handle our last endpoint which is to delete a book I simply go here in the service copy this from here and I type here delete by ID I remove this book from here and I also remove this and this is the uh, find by ID and delete okay pass in the ID and simply save it from here go back to the controller and I copy this from here okay and that is a delete decorator okay so I will import that from uh, nest slash common and then I will type here delete book 
call here delete by id simply save this one now if i go back to the postman and i create a new book here that is this one click on send so i will copy this id i paste it here so this is the book that we want to delete i copy the link from here put that here delete click on send and now the book is deleted successfully here you can see that book not found okay so now we have successfully created our api that performs all the CRUD operations we have created our schema we have created our dto's and also we have learned about the folder structure of nest.js so in my next video i will add the pagination and the search functionality in this api okay so make sure to subscribe to this channel uh, to get the updates of the upcoming videos and also if you want to check out my udemy course of nest.js which is an in-depth course about how to make a powerful api in nest.js you can also find link of that course in the description of this video okay again if you have any question post that question in the uh, comment section i will definitely reply there so i will see you in the next lecture